So what's going on everyone? Just left my house and we are heading down to my shop area. But uh, I wanna show you guys something. So I put this uh, Toyota Noah wheel in my truck. And again, I don't have the igniter for this because they can't ship them from Japan. So as I'm waiting to find an igniter, I put the resistor in place and it must have fell out because now I have a airbag light, which is not cool. So I'm gonna have to pull the bag off today and re-secure the resistor. It must have popped out. Um, I should tape it a little better. I just put like one little piece of tape on it. So we're gonna pop that off today, redo that, and we should be getting my M3 back today. It's been at the body shop for four months. So I need to sell that thing to recoup some money. Um, I have a buyer lined up, but uh, he's been waiting a long time. This thing has been in the body shop for a long time untouched not that it needed a lot of work he got it in like two days ago and it's almost done so it was literally two to three days worth of work to, to prep and paint the whole car and it's been there for four months that's what happens when you bring your cars to friends body shops but it, the whole car should be painted we're gonna go check it out today see it and uh hopefully it's fucking done because i need to sell this thing i am broke right now i can't believe this toyota crown hasn't sold yet i'm down to like 8500 bucks on it 39,000 mile 2 jay-z crown one owner in japan extremely clean 8500 bucks and i'm not even getting any bites that's how bad the economy is this car should have been a ten thousand dollar car all day and uh I lowered my price down to 8500 and it's still not even, no interest. Uh, I don't get it. It's a sick car. I wish I could keep it and, you know, throw coils and wheels on it and maybe a turbo kit and an R154. It'd be a sick fucking car. If anybody wants a crown, I'll give you a killer deal on it and the car is so clean. But uh, yeah, let's go check the M3 out and uh, hopefully take it back to the shop today and put it back together. So see you guys down at the body shop. All right, the body shop was on lunch when I went there. So we are gonna head there now and we're gonna take the crown. I haven't driven it in a couple days. So uh, let's cruise over in luxurious Bentley-like riding. This thing is just a cloud. Start driving this thing more. It's so nice driving. So finally see the BMW. Haven't seen this car in a while. <laughs> it is gonna look sharp. So we took off the spoiler, shaved it. No more LTW wing on it. But uh, super, super clean chassis. Never been in an accident. All the body panels are original. It just had super faded paint on it. So now it is going to be Freshly sprayed for whoever ends up with it next. So, uh, not quite done yet, but it's very, very close. I did just get my arrival notice for the next car on my phone. It will be in 1027. So, what's today? Today is the 21st. So, six days we'll have a port run. So, super stoked on that to get another car, even though. Last one I brought hasn't moved, but uh, yeah, we'll have a port run in a couple days. So we'll see what we're getting. That one, so the car I got coming in, I, uh, I originally bought it for myself, but then a different car came up that I bought for myself. So this one's gonna get sold. So we got the boys here prepping for a fire. We are getting everything all set outside. We got Ant put to work. Got the leafy blower. What's going on out here? Is it a transfer pail? Yeah. There's a lot of water in it. Dagnell's the light guy. 
We got this thing all set. We need oh my God, it can't. We can't leave it that high. No, we're gonna cut it down. Yeah, we're gonna cut it. We got the big chainsaw. No, yeah, we got the the saw. We got it. I just got this awesome new carpet for the shop. I can't wait to put it in front of the Sylvia. DJ's gonna help me put it in. He's gonna. Yeah, it's designer. He's gonna help me put it in the shop right now, so we're grabbing it. Let's put it in D so we could display our cars on it. It's gonna look so dope. Okay. Let's undo it quick. Just put it out. Dude, shit! <laughs> no! I just oh, bought man. that. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh my god. It, it's fine. It'll come out. Oh it, my goodness. It'll, it'll. I spent. I oh. spent all my oh. YouTube money on that. Oh my god. I made $8 off YouTube and I bought that. Oh my god. Did you nut on my carpet? <laughs> Did you nut on my carpet? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys and girls, we just made it down to the shop and uh, we just went and picked the M3 up. So it is all painted. And now I gotta put it back together. But here it is in its naked form. So it actually came out pretty darn good. Couple little flaws, obviously I gotta clean it. Um, the bottom of the door I did not have painted, so it's a little off, I gotta just wax it up and it'll match a lot better. But uh, So he painted from the molding up because there was no damage on the bottom. But now that I look at it, it is a little faded. But it should clean up once I buff it with some wax. Should clean up. Um, yeah, besides that, it came out pretty darn good. A little bit of a little bit of weirdness right there. It's only catching the sun. I shaved the trunk. No more spoiler. I'm gonna keep the spoiler because I'm selling this car. So I'm gonna keep the spoiler. But uh, besides that, it came out really good. Obviously needs a wet sand and buff, but from what it used to look like, it completely faded, it looks much, much better. I think it came out much better. All right, Ant and Dagnell just called me. They are stuck in the next town over. Ant's car is getting an alignment, and they said it's gonna be a while. So they are stranded at Mighty Key. So I am going to pick up Dagnell and Ant, we're gonna take the crown because my truck doesn't have a back seat. M3 is all apart. Other BMW is inside. Sylvia's inside. And all my other cars are still in Japan. So we are going to take the crown and go rescue the boys. I would love for one of my subscribers to buy this thing from me so they can uh, keep me updated on it, even come visit the shop once in a while bring it by maybe i can help them mod it throw some wheels and coils turbo kit six speed this thing will be fucking tits so if anybody wants it reach out to me who michael what are you guys doing here <laughs> fuck is this thing that's the oem trash can yeah. so you can throw your rubbish in it and how much they hitting you for an alignment? I don't know. Bob's doing it. Bob? That's yeah. one of my dad's good friends. Is it? Yeah. I, I tell him. Yeah, he rips my mom off every time we go there, though. <laughs> Donald. Yeah. Do you like this car? It's good. Very good. It's good. It looks it looks very native. Reminds me of Homeland. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. It's good. Ant got his car back. Yeah. It's an N3. N3? N3. Oh. <laughs> Donald's here with his car. Yeah, yeah. Looking spicy. Gotta enjoy it before, you know, it might come back to all hell broken loose it, from Connecticut. It's a Sylvia with a left-hand drive conversion. Correct. You can't see because it's got mirror. He doesn't want anybody to see it. All right, so we're in the middle of washing the Sylvia. I didn't realize how high it is in the back. I don't know if I'm running over something, but it looks fucking ridiculous. So we got to fix that. Then we got to wash the E36 because a volcano went off and it's got volcanic ash all over it. Then we're going to wash the M3 because it's real dirty. And Donald's leaving. And um, can I say where you're going or no? Yeah. 
I so, put it out today. Yeah, he's leaving for Japan. Oh, leave yeah. early. He hopefully brings us home some goodies for all of us because he's going to the motherland first before any of us. So eventually we're all going to go there, but Donald's that. making it first. I'll be the so, tour guide next time. Yeah, he's going to pick some cool stuff up, hopefully some magazines and stickers and cool shit to bring home. Learn the language. Yeah, that's going to be fucking hard. I'm going to try. He's going to try. Koniki one. Konnichiwa. That's yeah. all I know. Yeah. So I got a lot to learn, but it's so. going to be good. It'll be a fun time bring back some goodies yeah so hopefully maybe find some s14 cool stuff he's actually shipping his car to japan so we'll see this in japan next time we see it uh, no i'm just kidding that's freight. not happening that'll cost fucking 10 grand to do and it'll take fucking three months no i'm gonna do air freight air freight yeah yeah it's like 30 grand uh -huh. yeah each no. way it'll be sick to bring a car to japan i know a yeah, car that came from japan bring it back there then bring it back home yeah i think you had money do that so it'll be good he can't drive at night he's got a real early morning he's leaving at like 3 34 in the morning to get on an airplane so he's taking off for the afternoon i'm supposed to be going to a car show early tomorrow i was really excited about it but it looks like it's gonna rain so i'm kind of fucking upset about that but we got ant's bmw all lined up does it drive better yeah it drives better or does it feel exactly the same it drives better it does drive better steering wheel straight again look at that alcantara wheel i know what they charge you 90 bucks 90 bucks for an alignment will my sylvia fit on their rack i don't know no i, I won't bring it to them anyway fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> nice winter tires brand new yeah it's ready for the winter ready for the winter bye donald we won't see him until he's back from the motherland i'll be back I'm very jealous that he's going to Japan. Just, just noting that. So we're wrapping up the day at the shop. Had a lot of friends stop by today and a lot of cool things going on. A lot happened today. So DJ stopped by with his S14 looking fires always before he heads to Japan tomorrow, which is insane. He's the first one of us to go to Japan. Hopefully we can all take a group trip within the next couple years and we'll all go for a little family vacation. Me, DJ, maybe Jimmy, Dagnell, and if we can all just take a two week vacation and go to Japan, that's like dream worthy. Maybe one day we'll get there. Right now I could never afford that. So that's not gonna happen. But one day I hope we can do that. That would be so cool. Just have a little trip but we got some stuff done today which is pretty cool i finally put this bike lift together this one was a part and we had this front wheel chalk set up just sitting around this is like the optional wheel chalk which is way more secure than the original one so we just had to measure it up drill holes i put some nice stainless hardware in it put it in and um yeah this holds the bike way better than the original setup i need to give it a good cleaning the bike and we need to get it fired up and winterized even though i have not driven it this season we still have to keep it safe and run all the fluids get it fired up let it run a little bit get the fuel winterized or drain it completely ideally that's probably what i'm going to do and get all the fuel out of the car so nothing gums up with this ethanol gas because i did run actually no i think i ran race gas in it the last time i ran it so i might be safe in that aspect but yeah we need to clean it up and basically just get it winterized we're going to finish this bike this winter so it's ready for spring so we got some plans for this some tuning on the carb we can do that all in here we can run it in here during the winter so we're going to tune the carb we're going to finish up the lighting. We're going to change a couple things up on it and finish up the wiring and get this thing ready for next season. So it's just kick and go, ready to rock. It's registered. It's insured. It is ready to ride. So we're going to finish that up this winter. That's one little project. But we also got the M3 back. So we have the M3 here with some fresh paint on it looking much better than it did. There was chips all over it. There was faded all over it. You guys remember this quarter panel was completely faded there was no paint left on it we had the ltw wing on it we deleted that and shaved the trunk hole so it, it is now a spoil spoilerless 
car. We just washed all the dust off of it, started putting a couple things, small things back on to plug the holes for when I washed it. Otherwise it would have got all wet inside the trunk area. And um, yeah, just cleaned it up really. But uh, much, much better than it used to look like. There was dings all over it. Not really all over it, but there was a couple dings. And the paint was toasted. The whole top of the doors were all faded. Hood was faded. Um, it had the top of the bumper was all chipped up and faded. The corners were all chipped up and faded. So, I mean, look at the badge. That's how the whole car looked fading wise. So as much as there was no damage on the car, the paint was toasted on it. So we redid the whole interior on this. We put the manual legit M seats in it. It had power M seats with the cheaper option leather. So this is the higher option leather seats and they're full manual, which is even more sought after because they're lighter and you don't have all the electrical bullshit in it. But we got the mirrors painted. We have to put those on. Yada, yada, yada. Regardless, car looks 100% better. Um, I do miss the spoiler already, but I think I have a buyer lined up for it and he preferred it spoilerless. So we've been talking enough that he convinced me that he's actually going to buy the car. So I went with his request and I shaved the trunk. Um, if he doesn't buy it, I'm going to be kind of upset that I shaved the trunk and did not put the wing back on. But now I can keep that wing and potentially put it on my right-hand drive car. Don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to keep that one no spoiler. But regardless, I have a nice European-made LTW wing that I'm now keeping instead of selling with the car. So we're going to put this M3 on the lift. We're going to pull my other cars in. We just washed the Silvia. We rinsed off the right-hand drive E36 because that had ashes from last night's fire all over it so that's gonna be it for the night you know the deal guys like comment subscribe and uh i'll catch you guys on the next one oh yeah check out my instagram too mike g203 see you guys soon